Hello, let's look a little bit at uh, markers. The most used maybe type of marker is the sequence or clip marker where you can mark uh, the timeline of your sequence or uh, the time of uh, your uh, clip by uh, pressing M or the grave key you can set a marker let's say that I want to set the marker here in my sequence I see the little green dot that it's marking my uh, sequence uh, if I want to set another one let's try and use the grave key now okay uh, if I double tap the M key so let's say that I tap once, I set the marker, I'm on that marker and I press again M. I can see the window for editing my marker and I can choose a name, let's say Mark. You can write a comment like uh, the third, let's say. Um, you can again put uh, a long one to start and uh, you can uh, put a duration or you can choose to set it as a chapter marker, compression marker or scoring marker. Let's say that for now I that's okay. If I select uh, my clip and I'll, let's say hit M again the marker is not gonna be the sequence marker but it's gonna be for for my clip so the pink one it's saying that it is a clip marker you can also add markers on the fly uh, on the fly means that uh, you can add markers when you actually play let's play our video and set Mark. Oops, sorry. You can also set the markers at the double speed or something like that. Uh, the same it's uh, for the clips. I just hit play and then hit M. My mark is going to be there. There are also some uh, special markers that are in and out. Uh, you can on only set one in uh, marker for a clip or for a sequence uh, and only one out marker. The shortcuts are I and O. Let's select our sequence. You can shift I to go to the in point or shift O to go to the out point. You can also press Option I to clear the in point and Option O to clear the out point. Uh, you can also uh, press, let's say that, have in, out. You can also press Option X to clear both in and out and that's... Uh, not only for the timeline, but it's on also for the viewer, the clip selected in the viewer. Using, using only XK, uh, you can uh, mark a clip. So the in point of your timeline and the out point of your timeline are going to be the uh, in point of and out point of the clip. Let's press again option X to clear in and out. You've got also control A to marked markers. So the in point is gonna be to the previous marker and the out point is gonna be to the next marker. It's option X to clear those out. Let's make a selection. And you've got shift A to mark that selection. If we go to a marker and press command grave key, we can delete that marker. Something uh, like uh, going on a marker and pressing M and now hit delete. If you want to navigate through your markers, you can uh, 
press shift and use up and down arrow to navigate between them if you select the clip and you play shift and uh, down uh, also the clip markers are going to be included in that navigation another one is suppressing shift grave key to relocate the previous marker to the new playhead uh, current position so shift grave key and i've moved this one to uh, the new point um, also handy one is using control grave key to clear all markers if you got the clip selected they are going to be deleted from that clip so let's say control grave and if you select this select a clip and uh, you work with your sequence markers that is going to clear all the sequence markers uh, now what we've got left it's option grave key and that it's uh, for extend the the previous marker so now if i'm doing this is going to extend the, my marker and uh, if i'm going to edit that marker it's hit m now i can see uh, that it has also a duration let's undo that and see what it happening it, it is going to happen if i select a clip let's put some marks in say one here and then when I uh, because this was a generator I didn't have the master clip but now I have a master clip for this one and a little arrow in here showing my markers so number four five six seven oops auto save no thank you and what it's going to happen if I uh, create a new bin and uh, select all those markers and drag them in the new bin in that bin i'm going to find the um, new sub clips from uh, from the selectors so let, this is the first one from four to five from five to six second one the third one from six to f seven i think yeah six to seven and the last one is going to be from 7 till the end of my clip. Uh, you can also check to see what you can do with the markers. You can check under the mark menu for marking, mark out, split clip and things like that. You can also see audio clips, uh, audio picks markers that are going to be blue and you can also check uh, the menu under the markers in here uh, you'll see all the commands and their shortcuts and uh, w one more kind of marker that you can use is the um, the kind of marker uh, that is going to appear is going to be red uh, when you are going to mark in the edit points let's say that on a uh, hit play and add edit points to my clip on the fly i can do that pressing ctrl v and you can see a new kind of mic marker a red one is gonna appear there and after i stop playing they are going to change into edit points a handy one is how you can use your markers uh, to just uh, sync let's say two points let's say that I want to place in here a marker from my audio in here all I have to do is go with my cursor on that marker click and after that my marker is gonna snap if I got snapping on is gonna snap to the other marker so hope you're going to find this helpful and um, find uh, some other ways to use markers and see you soon thanks